Hello. Uh, hello to everyone. Guys, today in this video, uh, as you all know that Odoo 16 is out in market and um, been, Visual Studio Code is very successful IDE to, uh, to work with Odoo 16 and start our development. Uh, so today in this video, I will just show you how to install Odoo 16 along with uh, PostgreSQL, the database, uh, and then we install Visual Studio Code and how we can all configure it all together to start our development. Okay, so let's first go to Google or any search engine, just search for uh, Odoo Download and choose this download Odoo in odoo.com here we can choose any company i say odooistic name is okay odoo 16 phone number any number uh email i would say odooistic my company at gmail.com and then we install for windows um in my previous video i have already shown that how to install odoo 16 in windows so this is the same process, uh, but it's a bit different because now we are also installing the PostgreSQL as well. So it's just going to be downloaded. I just wait for a <clears throat> couple of seconds. So in my system, I have already downloaded Visual Studio Code. So, uh, but I will show you the process how to, that is pretty, very simple process. So it has been downloaded. We can just click this Odoo. Uh, latest exe file which has been downloaded once we click it uh, this pop-up will appear we need to say that yeah run anyway and yes we give permission okay any language you can choose I choose English next you can read this agreement I agree okay here because I have already uninstalled PostgreSQL uh, database from my system. So it's also sh giving me the permit, I mean, uh, the possibility to install. So I will install along with Odoo. So I will say yes. Uh, I will keep everything as it is. Username is openpg and password is openpg, the pwd, which will be appeared in our odoo.configuration file in our Visual Studio code when I will open, uh, I will show you. So here, uh, the destination folder, I would want to it's up to you where you want to install it. So I would say in my C, uh, there is already Odoo 16 folder there. So what I need to do, I just open that and I delete that. Okay, it's been no Odoo 16 at the moment. So what I say, I just make a new folder and I say Odoo 16. Okay let's install uh, guys it this process will take a couple of minutes in the meantime I will just tell you how to install Visual Studio Code so what you need to do you need to go in www.code.visualstudio.com uh, and slash download um, please keep one thing in mind that I will share all these links and uh, um, everything along with you. So, okay, so this is the link. I will show um, share this link with you. So once you put this link, it will show you that where you want to install it. I will say that for Windows, I want to install for Windows. Uh, so this link will be downloaded. So once it will be downloaded, you can just click this Visual Studio Code here, and then I accept the agreement, next, and then uh, create a desktop icon, and then uh, you can just choose, uh, just keep a, a, a the default settings and then next and then it will ask you that where you want to install Visual Studio Code and then when you will click next it will install Visual Studio on your computer so because I've already downloaded and installed in my machine so I don't need to but I have already uninstalled uh, database and Odoo 16 to, to just show you this process so 
at this time our odoo is going to be uh installed we just wait for a couple of like a couple of minutes it's just going to be completed or what i do i just pause this video for for some time and when it will finish i will again restart it from there let's see it's because it, it just seems it's going to be finished Okay, let me just pause for some time. Yes, looks like it's just going to be completed in just a couple of seconds. All right. It's just it's just initializing the database server with the same username and password already we have just given when we were uh, installing it. Okay, so it has been completed. Uh, we just need to click next and start Odoo. Let's just. Uh, uncheck it and then finish okay so this process has been completed we have installed VL studio code we have installed odoo we have installed postgresql okay uh, what we need to do we need to initialize our visual studio code now so here this is visual studio code when uh, we open this visual studio code we just need to click on file and then we need to open the folder where we have installed odoo 16 so here in my case uh, I have installed in C and this is the Odoo 16. You need to open this folder and then you need to open or you need to open server. So because we need to give our work folder server, select folder. Uh, that's it. So we are there now. Uh, what we need to do, we just click on this Odoo. Um, uh, in this Odoo, all our add-ons, Odoo 16 add-ons are here. So what you do, uh, just choose or click or open any python file so any module account and if we go in models and click any python file so this is our python file here when i open this python file automatically this our python version which has been installed in order 16 automatically we can see here python 3.10.264 bit and uh, after that uh, we need to we need to add configuration so what we need to do we when we click run it will say add configuration we click that and we need to click on the first option which is python file debug the currently active python file when we click that it will automatically generate launch launch.json in our vs.code automatically it has been created what you need to do you just need to replace the contents with a file which i will share in the description um, so let me just copy from my system which i have created to just make things easier for me and for you so this is you can open it in a notepad file and then copy from there and then just paste here so that's it so here you can just change order to order 16 and here just give the path of Odoo 16. Uh, so in this case, uh, our Odoo 16 has been installed in our C and we have Odoo 16 and then Python, that's it. Don't uh, change other things and everything just just keep the remaining, remain everything the same. Okay, after that, you just need to open another file which is odoo.configuration file. So when you see here, uh, you need you can just find at the end this file which is odoo.configuration file so here you just need to comment a log file so where is the log file here this log file just comment this just this line only so i hope we have just done all the 
pretty much work and this is the time to start our service so here run um, run without okay run without debugging uh, or you can start with debug so that's it once you will run that you will see it's saying uh, find me this is the name of my database and 8069 which is the port local host so we can start opening that database now and we can see how our um, Odoo 16 looks like so we say local host 8069 okay this is giving error let me just check okay works you running on let me just restart again so guys let me just open this into a different browser because maybe it was it is oh i guess it's overloading with the um, okay let me just open it in different browser i will say local host um, and also what i'm going to do here the port i was using 69 let me just just do the same 8069 okay let's run this again and okay it's giving i think this port is getting overloaded so let's do this um we can change the port here to 8071 okay Okay, let me just check. Let's choose an incognito window. Okay, um, I believe that is related to uh, overflow overloading message. So once we will create the database, everything should be fine. So yeah, I have just created um, or opened in an incognito window and it's working fine. So this is the master password. You can save this password in somewhere. So which um, you can use it later. So let me just here, admin password. I would say just admin is fine. Database name is Odoo is stick. Um, email, you can give any email. I would say stick gmail.com and password i would say any password you can choose here but please um, remember to save it somewhere and click demo data if you want demo data um, in creating database so i'm choosing to create demo data as well i hope you don't need to change the ports uh, because my problem is because I was using different Odoo's, Odoo 14, 15, and so I was keep shuffling ports. So I hope when you will follow this procedure, which I have told you in this video, you don't need to change ports. It will be uh, pretty straightforward. So it is creating databases at the moment. And uh, once it will create a database, we will be able to install applications. Um, and oh, that's it. Boom. Uh, email i have given okay o2 is stick at and i think password was this so once you give your uh, details it will log in it's just going to be connected now <laughs> Give me one minute. Oh yes, it has been installed, voila. Guys, so yeah, we have done it together. Uh, it has all the new applications. So before uh, in Odoo 15, it was installed, but they have changed it to activate now. So if this is the most important sales, we will install it. Sales app. So yeah, <laughs> I just paused the video for some time. So. I just 
let it to install uh, sales application so if you see here sales has been installed you can install other apps if you want you can just click apps and then install like crm accounting website or whatever you like so i just want to show you a couple of things if you go in sales so here all the demo data has been installed so the new thing i want to show you it's pretty cool thing so before in Odoo 15 and 14 when you were clicking in one too many field so you were we were finding bit you know just sluggish so whenever we were trying to find the technical name of the fields in one too many fields so let's uh in developer mode whenever you will add the developer mode and you can just place your icon here or just um your cursor you can see the names here quite easily so this is a new thing it's quite sharp really nice i hope you like this video and it's time to explore Odoo 16 and start your Odoo 16 development. Um, so I hope you like this video, guys. If you like it, please uh, like it, subscribe it, share it with your friends. Uh, so it gives us a bit more positive feedback to just, you know, come up with new and fantastic ideas for you. Thank you so much. See you again. Bye-bye.